Hi everybody, Cindy Martin here, also known as Teacher's Brain. I wanna pop in here real quick and share with you the new 100th day of school virtual activities that you can use when you're either celebrating just for the day or even if you're celebrating for an entire week if you're just celebrating the number 100. So let me go ahead and show you some of the activities that you can find in here. The first slide you're gonna see is an idea slide where you can have 20 different ideas that you can do. A lot of these are ones that if you're in the classroom, so these, the rest of the slides I'm gonna show you are for virtual. Here's the first one. You can edit each one of these activities and only have, out of the 17 activities, you can just have five activities or four activities, kind of like centers virtually. The first one is you can add your own video. I already added one by Jack Hartman in here with his permission. And if you want to add whatever other video you can, you can just simply click on it, delete it, and then insert your own video from YouTube. The next activity, this is activity number two, 100 day of school art. And the students will see that there's 10 colors down here and there's 10 groups underneath each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And their job is to cover up the rainbow and make their own rainbow, make it colorful. They could even, if they wanted to, they could even change the size of these, but they have to make sure that they at least have 100 dots on their rainbow. Activity number three, and remember you can change these to be any number you want. Students can edit the name. They're going to take 100 fish and put it inside the fish bowl. So here's the first one. They just drag them in. One, two, three, four. And I made each one different colors slightly so that they would know they could keep them in groups of 10 if they wanted to. And it would make it easier for them to count the 100. They can also change the sizes of these if they really want to. Activity number four is, I bugged my teacher for 100 days. They will take these bugs and their job is to separate them. They can separate them right here, keep them in a line if they want to, to make it easier for counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and uh, they could do this for the same, and they can count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. If you wanted to as a teacher, you could even put your own face on here if you wanted to insert your face. You can insert it, and that way it'd be a little more fun for them to be bugging their teacher. Activity number five is clown hair. They're going to drag the circles in order to give the clown their own head of hair. And they have to use all of them because there are 100, there's 10 groups of 10. The next one is to make a 100th day monster. Over here it says add 10 eyes, 10 circles, 10 triangles, 10 arms, 10 buttons, 10 mouths, 10 hearts, 10 rectangles, horns, and hexagons. And what they will do, activity six has another page to it, and they just click on the items that they want to use. There's two eyes. They're supposed to put 10 on. So they could just right click, copy, paste, they can change the size of these. They can be much smaller. Uh, 10 horns, 10 mouths, 10 hearts. I have them big set up here so that when they come over here, they can easily move them around and then they can adjust the size if they want them to be small in order to fit their 100 pieces on. Activity number seven, they are to drag the circles, there's 10 circles for each color, into the 10 frame in order to make 10 ones that equals 110. And then once they finish each set, they can count by tens to 100. 
they will also answer the question 10 groups of 10 equals and then they click in here and edit and add. Activity number eight is to have 100 buttons. There's 100 buttons, 10 groups of 10 again, and they need to put 100 buttons on the sweater. They can keep them all grouped in order to count by tens if you want them to. You can change your directions over here or they can make them scattered however they want. It's really up to you, the teacher. Activity number nine is 100 gumballs. Same thing here, they're gonna drag a gumball inside of the gumball machine in order to make sure that these are ready for them to sell. Activity number 10 is for the students to get some fitness in. They can do 10 side stretches, 10 jumping jacks, 10 knee lifts, and every time they do, they can drag a check mark after they finish their 10 in order to show that they have actually accomplished each one of the activities. At the very end, it says when you are done to type the number 100 because you've done 100 exercises. Here's the edit area, you would type 100. Activity number 11. This is, if you have really little ones that are doing this activity, it might be a little too difficult for them. Older kids should not have a problem, but it's you're going to want them to write their name 100 different ways. They will write their name, say it's Sarah, and then they can choose to make it bigger if they want. They can choose to make it in cursive if they want, and they can change the color of the font if they want also. This is a fun one. The students will add, have a little scavenger hunt, tell them that they have 100 seconds to find these three items. They need to find a book, a spoon, a shoe. Oh, I got these two things backwards. Uh-oh. They will find a book, a spoon, and a shoe. And the directions tell them to click play. You will hear a little bit of noise. Go. Now they have 100 seconds to go and find a book, a spoon, and a shoe. If they make it back in time, they'll write here, yes, I made it back in time, or they can write down here, no, they didn't make it, and why or why not they didn't make it. The next one is really fun too, exercise or activity number 13. How many times can you clap in 100 seconds? Same idea, they're gonna click this, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 15, 16, 17, And hopefully they'll be able to count while the timer is going down. And then they can put in their total claps, how many times they clapped inside the text box. All right, this is a super fun one. This activity, what you do is you're going to put your students, have your students put an image of themselves in the picture frame or you can even put you inside the picture frame and let them make their teacher old which would be fun also for them and then they go to the next page and they pick their parts right click copy they paste and they can stick it on top of their own image to turn themselves into old people a hundred year old people okay and they have different eyebrows, different for for men, a mustache. Oh, I didn't put a mustache on there. Let's put a mustache on it. There we go. This is my cute son. All right, so we've made him into a 100-year-old person. If you don't want to use any of these, like say you don't want to do the 100 day old person, then you would just simply delete the slide before you push it out. Whatever activities you don't want, delete it and then change your activity number. So if you only want two activities or five activities, you can do that. You could just push out one activity each day if you wanted to. Here is some writing. If I had $100, activity number 15, all they do is click the edit button to write their story about what if they had $100, what would they spend it on? Down here, they can check themselves. Did they use capital letters? Did they have punctuation? This is an extra page for students to continue writing. Here's one for an opinion writing. Would you rather 100 pieces of gum or 100 chocolate bars? Write about it. Give a reason with examples to support your opinion. 
and restate your opinion as your conclusion. So if this might be too hard for students, just delete these two pages. And then they can also check at the bottom. All right, now, if you look at the rest of these, all the rest of these are pretty much the same thing that you've already seen, except for it's in the black and white version for if you are in person teaching and to save your printer on ink. So if you go through, you'll see that here are all the same activities with directions written on the actual printable. You can do all the same ones. These are writing with lines for intermediate and these are writing for primary. And you can delete this page before you push it out to your students. So anyway, I hope that you guys have a great 100 day celebration. It is always fun to share 100 with students and I hope you guys have a fantastic celebration.